I mean, obviously, there's a there's a lot of change going on in our industry from uh, the cookie environment to um, things like attention. But um, for, for us as a business, we're we're, we're pretty new to the space. Um, brands uh, are pretty new to our space in terms of in-app um, uh, mobile gaming. Um, so our focus really as a business is on kind of reminding advertising partners of ours about the kind of opportunity there is in our in, in entertainment apps like ours. Um, our focus is on telling clients and agencies about the scale of our supply. So I saw some stats recently from eMarketer showing that kind of mobile gaming was second behind YouTube in terms of the amount of time that consumers spend um, uh, on a particular channel. Um, so it was like 28 minutes for mobile gaming. And I think YouTube was 36, Facebook was 19 and TikTok 19 as well. So it kind of shows you the scale of our environment. Um, the challenge for us of, as a business is, is to get brands to adopt it. It's probably one of the, the biggest areas of entertainment that aren't served by large advertisers. So that's our focus as a business. I suppose that's that, that the question that you asked there is, is probably, um, I'd love to just clarify up front is that I suppose I don't see our environment as in game, if you like. So we don't stick ads inside a game environment where people are actually playing the game. The likes of Anzu of the world do that, where they have ads around the billboards of the games. We we are a break, um, an ad break within the actual mobile game itself. Um, so I suppose that that's the first point to clarify in terms of how we engage with advertisers and how we engage with with game developers. Um, I think we've got a really unique format in mobile gaming that um, uh, that probably is very different from traditional digital, where we 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 have a a video ad that stops the content. We play the video to the end with audio on with full screen. Mobile gaming and mobile publishers have created a a very compelling ad unit uh, delivers on lots of kind of key metrics for advertisers. They're not trying to ram in a video ad into a into a display format, which arguably the lot of a lot of the publishers of the traditional digital desktop and mobile world have done. Um, so we approach things in a different way, and I think that helps consumers. They understand when those ads are going to be there. They're at logical points within the game, I between levels. Helps publishers because we have a, an ad unit that actually uh, delivers you know, decent CPMs to our publishers. And, it, and I believe it helps advertisers because we actually do the video ad properly. So from a point of view of consumers, game developers, and as advertisers, I, I think we tick the box on, on all fronts. Audience targeting, I suppose, is the question here. Um, you know, we're we're a global ad, te ad tech business. We reach 1.2 billion uh, users every month. We're on 80,000 apps. So we have an enormous amount of supply. We have signals, data signals coming from our publishers. Uh, we use things like third-party data. We, as, a, as an SSP, we're the second largest SSP outside of Google. We actually have a really interesting integration with Google that allows advertisers to use our to use Google audience segments, so affinity segments. So we're we're a combination, like most ad tech companies, of our own first party data, uh, third party data, and increasingly, as the brands and agencies understand our space better, we're starting to curate uh, publisher groups uh, around particular audience or audiences. So uh, a particular audience that look at things like words with friends or Sudoku or uh, those types of puzzle environments are very different from maybe an eight ball pool type of uh, uh, type of a, an audience. So curating publisher and, and context based audience groups is kind of where we see the market going increasingly. As, as I mentioned at the beginning, we're in a really early stages here of, of getting large brands and agencies to buy into this space. Um, I think we have a, a naming problem as a business, or not as a business, as a as a category. Uh, we 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 are grouped into gaming, and gaming has certain preconceived views around kids playing console games. 
I think um, art category, casual gaming is more around uh, break points during the day for people, people trying to turn off from their daily lives. So the, the kind of trend that we're seeing is this recategorization of our area, this understanding of our channel, um, understanding of the scale that we deliver. Um, the big trend that I love at the minute is attention. I feel that that plays into our hands as a channel. We have these fantastic formats, like our video format uh, delivers, I think it's 2x times Google um, uh, Google 20 second non-skippable in terms of attention and 10x times the kind of outstream providers from a video perspective. So we perform brilliantly from an attention point of view, and that's mainly because we stop the content, we play the video with the audio on, and we also have a, a consumer mindset that are engaged with that content. So for us, attention's massive, that's a massive trend. The more that the market buys into attention, the more they will naturally lean towards formats like ours and environments like ours, where the consumer is actually attentive to the advertising. So for us, that's, that's a big trend. Um, I think sustainability is another big piece in the marketplace that we see when speaking to advertisers. They want to know about your supply path. Um, they want to know that um, the ad units are delivering value. They're not just videos that are being served you know, below the fold that deliver no value. There's bid requests going in that are creating that carbon footprint uh, and delivering no value. Our, our value as a business, as an SSP, is that we're the source of the supply. So uh, anything to do with that sustainability and supply path optimization that comes with it is a trend that we're, we're really following. So those are the two key things for me.